Okay, hello everybody. This is going to be a bit of a different video. I kind of wanted to show what I do on the side. I'll just put that there so it's just a solid screen. But mainly, like, as well as making YouTube videos, I also do reselling on the side of, like, games, uh, media, like, CDs, cassettes, vinyl, movies, VHS, whatever. And I just picked up a really cool lot of cassettes for $40. There's two boxes. Cool. I think he said it's near. Sorry, is it, sorry about that. He said it's near about 170, and there's some pretty cool. Like obviously, there's some good ones. There's some not good ones. Like there's Robert Plant. There's Scorpion in here. There's a few other ones. I can't see right off. There's even uh, Bill Cosby. Even weird. So like a lot of cool stuff. There's a lot of like Alabama. There's a lot of country, Christmas, whatever the hell. Like even these, you see them right here, very special Christmas ones. No idea what they're really, because I see them all the time, but they're still cool. But then there are some that are just, uh, the cassette only. Still some pretty cool items, so, like, probably when I get home later, I'll just video, like, going over a lot of them, just to see what we can find, and see if I'm gonna make profit. Okay, oh, there we go. Okay, I just got these home, let me just... Oh, this is weird on the, on the actual weird angle. I'm recording on my phone again, sorry if it's a bit off, but like these are both filled, there's about 170 total. So we'll just go through, roll this way, see the, the nightmare mess, so we have the temptations, if it's gonna focus on me and be nice, which it's not. There we go, it's a tiny bit better. So we have the temptations, greatest hit, we have James Taylor, we have the best of guess who, Gloria Estefan. I don't know why the camera is weirdly not focusing or whatever. There we go. I forgot to zoom in. Oh my god, it's weird looking through here. So we also have Footloose, the, the soundtrack. Eric Clapton, Time Pieces, The Best. Eric Carmen, Elton John, The Greatest Hits, Volume 3, 1979 to 87. And then. The uh, Way You Look Tonight and then Candle in the Wind 97. Now, actually, for sale, I have two of the CDs. I just put them up because I got them at like a. Not a garage sale, but like a flea market type thing. So I don't have the cassette, which I thought was pretty cool. This actually might stay in my collection. I remember this Eddie Raven, the early works. Uh, Betty. I think it's Moyer. Betty Midler. Close enough. Eagles Greatest Hits, Volume 2 and 1. This one I know can sell for at least like five, ten bucks. This one I have no idea. I've never seen this one before. So, that'll be fun to figure out. We have Dirty Dancing and more Dirty Dancing with Connie Francis. Uh, one, Mr. Chiffins, Cars, Greatest Hits, Carly Simon, the best. BJ Thomas, two of the best of bread, but the cool thing about these is they're both different. You see the one has, it's like TC5108 and the other one's 55056. And also you have the other serial code down there. The font is different, but also on the bottom of them, I'm also going to change the case. Because I have a lot of ones that are just, like, worthless. So this one is, it has the cover of them. This one has the cover, but down there, it has, like, a lot of other, like, words. And then, on the back is where you can tell even more. So this one. The, um, fonts are actually a tiny bit different. Not a lot, but, like... Other than that, I can notice it. It's just like on screen, it doesn't look different, but like one of them is thinner than the other. It's still really cool. So we have um, Bobby Vinton greatest hits. What the heck is this one? Another one. Another one. Another one. Anne Murray Abba, the greatest hits, volume two. And then really cool one, Aerosmith. There was Wham, Paul McCartney, and Mariah Carey, but I let my brother have them. We have the John Dean story. Never heard of them. John Bon Jovi, Juice Newton, Chicago, Chicago again, John Lennon Collection, Kenny G, Leslie Phillips, whatever it is, um, Manfred Mann, uh, Michael Bolton, Neil Diamond, Rush, The Police, and that, I thought this was like a bootleg or like someone scratched on it, but no, this is the actual what it looks like, I did not know that, so that's cool, that's weird, this might be a different one, I'm just gonna open this one up right here, okay, so it looks the same, I wonder if it's a, anything different with it, I don't know. Neil Young, we have R.E.M., Boston, Sammy Hagar, Paul Simon, Peter, Paul, and Mary, The Rascals, 
Eric Carmen, Richie Valen, The Righteous Brothers, Ronnie Millsap, Stevie Wonder, Susie, the heck, Bugus, Sylvia, we have, what's this one? Eastern Paralyzed Veterans Association, home for the holidays, 97. That's weird. Oh, this is even cooler because it's still sealed in the wrap. I know it's a Christmas one, it probably won't go for much, unless anyone wants it. But still, it's really cool. And then I'm just gonna go from top to bottom. We have Tiffany with Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. You two, the best. Dave Matthew Band, they Andrew Lloyd Webber. We have Mochians. Do you love me? All time love songs. Love songs of the 60s. 60s love. The elite. 50s party. Your basic rock. Rock and roll hall of fame. Rock and roll hall of fame. Rock and 70s real rock. I'm guessing either a set because it does say one, two, three on the set. Disco Years Volume 2, we have Rock and Roll vol Show Volume 4, Dancing with Manson, Rock Me Gently, the 70s Greatest Rockets, these are the ones I'm keeping, When Irish Eyes Are Smiling, Volume 1 and 2, Celtic Love Collections, and Irish Pub Songs, it's weird because, I'll show you this, it's up, so they're all four together, but it looks like it was only meant for the first two to be together, the When Irish Eyes Are Smiling, maybe the person who had this before the other guy got it from, like I said, oh, it's all Irish stuff, put it all together. That's what I'm thinking. But, like, a lot of these ones, like your basic rock, stuff like that, a lot of these best of, they're sometimes good separately. Like, I have a ton of these I have to list, but I think a lot of them do better in lots because they sometimes have different stuff on them and you can do a little bit better stuff with them. So, move on to the next box. There's another one like this. This is box two, but it's not, I can't see a lot of this stuff right now. So like, oh, well, I'm actually running out of time on my phone. That's weird. I have an hour to fill. We have Jeff and Jewel. Never heard of them. Jeff Bronner. This one looks weird. This is funny. It's me, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Literally. Uh, he looks weird. And then, these are cool. These might actually just go in a big-ass um, bundle. So we have Alabama Live. Greatest Hit 3. Greatest Hit. Roll on. We have Garth Books. George Strait. Another George Strait, The Judds, Kentucky Headhunters, uh, Merle Haggard, What's this one, this got flipped around, this is weird, this is the weird one, this is um, Lynn Anderson, but the weird thing is this isn't on a J card, like, if you open it up, there's no artwork in there, it's just that, oh and this is falling off, that's no good, I might just honestly just glue that one or this one might be just a scrapped one, and then I just do something with it, I don't know. I'll figure it out, hold on, Ooh. but it's weird because it's taped on, like, glued and taped, so I don't know what that would be like, so we have Mary Chaplin Carpenter, I don't know if she's from the Carpenter or not, Roger Whitaker, Willie Nelson, which I thought was cool, with it, Winona and Naomi, the Judds, Why Not Me, Rising Stars, Chuck Wagon, Stampede, Cowboy Copas, Greatest Hits, Country Music, Montclair Country Harvest, Golden Age Country Music, Sons of Pioneers, Nashville's newest stars, which is cool. It's a, oh, it's a Kame, Kmart. That's something I have not seen in a while. No cash value, coupon valid 95. So this is at least 95 or earlier. I can look on that later. The Nashville's greatest hit. We have Larry White, Kenny Chesney, John Randall. I've heard of Kenny, Kenny, Kenny Chesney, and this is still sealed. That is awesome. And the thing that I think is hilarious, but like. He's not that good of a person, but oh well. Bill Cosby, Cosby and the Kids, Cosby Classic. There's two. Oh, this this is set. So that's still cool. They're just getting themselves for a bit of money. Best of Bill Cosby, and then Bill Cosby himself. Uh, we have Beginner. This one's funny. It's actually like a fitness walking cassette. So it goes at like 108 BPM, and you just walk to it. That's funny. Uh, which one's this? Hank Williams Jr. Greatest hits just set only. Uh, Shucks alive and kicking. Shucks again. I love the dance. On the right track. Wait and exhale. I don't know that movie. Uh, Bet Miller or Bed of Roses. Best Heart. Faster Pussycat. House of Pain. Is it from House of Pain or just weird? Oh, House of Pain is the. I thought it was the group House of Pain, like jump around one. Very special Christmas. We have one and two. We have Sinead O'Connor, Nothing Compares to You. 
We have Hope Floats, the motion picture, City of Angels, Champion of Love, David McKee, Benny Hester, again, Personal Best and Through a Window, Original London Recordings of Miss Saigon, this is a double cassette lot, Sweetwater, I don't know that one, I cannot read this, because it's a gold letter, uh, Classics by Request, the London Symphony Orchestra, Victoria's Secret, London, Victoria's Secret? I'll have, to, I'll have to look this one up. This one might be something. It has the volume two. This one is, what is this? Heart, bad, what is that? Bad animals. Uh, this, the police. Again, this is, every breath you take the single. This is like a compilation one, I'm guessing. Because it's not just a, one or the other, it's a few. Uh, this, these are going to be good as like extras or whatever. So this one is Barry Manilow, the collection, 20 classic hits. Uh, what's in this one? Did I look at this one? The police. Okay, another another one of It's Only Me, Lord. He's back again. Jeff Bronner. No idea who it is. So it's Joni Mitchell. Yeah, who's this one? Uh, Donna, I'm breathless. Uh, we have Melissa Etheridge. We have Russ Tash. Sheila Walsh. Uh, Randy Stone Hill, we have Susan Ashton, Matthew Ward, Tim Minor, uh, Leon Patillo or Patillo, Margaret Becker, The Reckoning. Heard of her, but I don't, I don't know. It's like maybe, maybe not. Mylon Lefray and the Broken Hearts Live Forever. We have Petra. Never heard of these people. Power Praise Back to the Street and Means War. The artwork looks pretty weird on them. Like weird and wild up pulling out. So that one's not bad. A rocking praise song, that's why. That's why I haven't heard of them. Back to the street. This one looks wild, I like this. And this means war. It's an exclamation point, so you know they're serious. You know they're serious and mean business. We have Robert Plant. This one I think might stay in my personal collection, because I don't have a lot of Zeppelin ones. Or like, people from Zeppelin. We have Robert Plant, Manic Nirvana. Uh, Melissa Etheridge again, two of them. A little secret, and then... Brave and Crazy, Tina Turner, that one will be a good one to put up, that's cool, that's a full album, I don't know a lot of 80s, 90s, like, pop or whatever that is, Tracy Chapman, Sophie Hawkins, Don Kenley, Scorpions, I was surprised to find this one here, I don't know if it's a lot of money or not, I don't know if it's even if it's the original case, I might switch it, there was Worldwide Live, over 80 minutes of music on chrome tape, Check it out. Should be able to tell. Ah. So there's a bit of, um, there's a bit of, like, oh, that's not even paint chipping. That's just, what is it? That looks decent. I don't know where you're going to see the chrome tape. Because it is just, it's clear. It looks nice, from what I can see. So that what might be what the chrome one is. I don't know. But that is pretty cool. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, it, wouldn't want to, it didn't want to go in. We have another Melissa Etheridge. Uh, Tracy Chapman. Another Melissa Etheridge. Jesus. I don't... If these are worth a lot on their own, I'll put them at, on their own. I might put them in a lot. We have Johnny Russell, and then we have Green Tree Dallas Home the Last Days. <laughs> so that look, it looks cool. I like a lot of these. I like how they look. I like the simplistic ones, like... I pull out like one of my favorite looking covers because it's just so weird looking. The very special Christmas ones. It's like so simple to the point. And so you have like the artist on there. Nice. And then a lot of these I like the cardboard sleeve ones. I don't know if this one will go, will go for a lot because I know I don't know a lot about her, but I did know she. I don't know something happened with her, like her career went downhill or whatever. I gotta look it up again. But that's still cool. They look cool. It's just a little bit of creasing in there. But, how old is this thing? Let's just see. 1990. So this is already 31 years old. And it's still in that decent of shape. So I'm not going to complain a lot, you know? So that was a really cool lot. There is about 167 left. We'll just probably call it 166. Because I'll take Robert Plant for myself, most likely. So, overall, a decent amount. Um, I should... I paid $40 for everything. All the consents. In the boxes, so I was. I mean, even if I put them at a dollar a piece, I'm gonna four times my money. But if not, 
I would say best bet between I would I would say between a hundred to two hundred on a maybe good day. So on a forty dollar investment, at least making sixty bucks over, I'm fine with that. Or even if I want to sell them at a buck on Mercari, you get fifty seven cents per about let's just round it to fifty at like let's say one sixty. I would make eighty, I'm still doubling. So I bought this, I saw a lot of the rock ones in there and or like a lot of the bigger no names like this, uh, Alabama, stuff like that that I know can at least bring a couple bucks. And I was already like, I'm on this, I'm gonna come get them. So if you like this kind of stuff and want me to do more like reselling type stuff while I'm still building my computer, because again, this is like, like all the money I'm like from selling stuff is going towards me building a new PC to get back to gaming stuff. And this is just coming out of my own money. This isn't coming out of reselling. Money. So it's kind of, it's just a bigger investment back in. So if you like a lot of this stuff, let me know down below. Like, comment, subscribe, share, do whatever. And I can see you in the next one.